The Muscolunge, the fish of 10,000 casts. A name given to the Muscolunge by anglers due to their extreme elusiveness and their difficulty to catch. Muscolunge are scientifically called Esox masquinangi and are commonly referred to as musky. Musky are located throughout the northern Midwest, southern parts of Canada, the Great Lakes region, northern east coast, and even as far south as Chattanooga in the Tennessee River Valley. Musky have an elongated streamlined body, flat head, large fins, and big mouths equipped with extremely sharp teeth, making them the ultimate predator. Their colorations may vary from brown, green, and silver, with dark vertical bars or spots along the body. Some muskie have no markings at all. Muskie are the largest member of the Sausidae family. Some have spanned longer than 60 inches long and have weighed nearly 70 pounds. A muskie that massive is rare, but muskie between 30 to 50 inches are more commonly caught. Muskie prefer to live in deep, clear lakes and rivers. In the spring, muskie emerge from their deep water wintering holes and start moving to shallow water. As the water warms, muskie will begin to spawn. After the spawn, muskie begin their summer pattern. They roam weed beds, rock structure, and fallen timber in search of prey. They will eat regularly throughout the summer months. As summer winds down and water begins to cool as fall approaches, Muskie will pursue larger and more frequent meals in order to fatten up for the winter. As the water cools further and ice begins to form on lakes, muskie will head for deep water and usually hold there until the water warms up in the spring. They may feed occasionally during the winter months, but will usually live off fat reserves they build up throughout the summer and fall. Muskie want to move as little as possible in the winter to use the least amount of energy. As the water warms up, they repeat the cycle. In the spring, when the water temperature reaches about 50 degrees Fahrenheit, mature muskie will begin to spawn. Male muskie will head shallow first in order to establish dominance over a specific spawning area. They use their large tails to clear out any mud in the area, leaving only rock, sand, and algae. If the eggs are laid in mud or silt, they will likely suffocate. While the male prepares the spawning grounds, the female is busy aggressively feeding in order to bulk up her egg mass. When the time is right, female muskie find a mate. During the week to two week period, large female muskie will drop anywhere from 18,000 to 200,000 eggs. Males swim beside the female, releasing seminal fluid on the eggs. The spawn leaves muskie in an exhausted state. The female will leave first, heading back to deeper water to recuperate. Male muskie remain at the spawning site for a few weeks to guard the eggs from predators. The small fry hatch and begin to feed on insects and zooplankton. In only a few months, muskie fry can reach a foot in length. At this point, they will feed on minnows and bait fish. Muskie are ambush predators. They will hide in weeds, rocks, and wood cover in order to ambush any prey that comes near. Though they prefer to use the element of surprise in hunting, they won't pass up an opportunity to chow down on schools of bait fish in the open. Muskie will eat anything that swims. Because of their massive stomach, they can eat organisms up to two-thirds of their body length. Muskie primarily gorge on other fish such as shad, herring, trout, perch, bluegill, and will even take on larger species such as lake trout, bass, pike, and even other muskie. Muskie will also eat crayfish, small mammals, and birds. Muskie will attack their prey, then take it down whole. Here is a muskie crushing a fisherman's lure. Another example of a muskie's ambitious predatory instincts is this video of a massive muskie butting off more than he can chew with a giant pike t-boned in its mouth.
I hope you learned something about the muscolins from this video. They are fascinating creatures and are true beasts of nature.